Harmon, can you just hold on a second? Can you check the coordinates? We're close. How can you be so sure? He's out here. I can feel him. Well, I'm going to double check, just so we don't go too far. How long is that going to take? It'll just be a minute. I'm going to go up here and have a look. God, is she always that pleasant? She'll hear you. I'm not even in her class. OK, so it's exactly 1,269 kilometers, according to the Haverstein formula. Don't you have to calculate it in whatever you Slalqua call it? Wheat. Yes. One Slalqua wheat equals 2.448, 2.448 meters. So we divide that by 520. Exactly. We're here. Philip, what are you doing? There's something in here. This is Professor Jensen of Monroe University of the New Mexico DIG. Day 49 of the DIG, 82 days since Becca, Carmen, and Philip discovered the artifact. It's Saturday, so most of the DIG team has gone home back to civilization for the weekend. I just have a skeleton crew here with me. There is Max. He's the lit major. He's just here for extra credit. There's Albert, he is my assistant professor, and Connie, she's a photography major. Then I have Carmen, who I can't quite figure her out. She's so smart and so dedicated, yet she's kind of an odd duck. And I think she's getting under Becca's skin a little bit. Poor Becca. Ever since her boyfriend Philip was killed, she's had these ups and downs. I know she's trying her best, but I think Carmen's pushing her just a little too much.
over here. Here where? The road stops here. We have to hike up to the site. Okay for coke now? Your lungs. Smells like death. Don't know what uh, death smells like, obviously. You mind? Can we, can we go? America, Bolyat. A good look, pig? Uh, me, me, no, 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 no. I, I was shooting off the point. Hijo de puta. Pinches intelectuales. Thank you, Derek. <laughs> Thank you for coming, Doctor. Elena. For you, I'm happy to come. You, you have not changed. You look tired. It's a tough trip. This way. Who was that? Lobachevsky, some Russian guy. Professor Jensen asked me to pick him up last night. Derek! Any mail? Yeah. Just this. Hey, Carmen. Yeah? Oh, thanks. Nice. Thank you so much. I'm dying out here, man. Thank you. Hey, have you seen Jose? The van's acting up again. Again? I thought he just fixed it. Come on, Derek. You're looking good, Mama Sita. The dragon's really paying off. Thank you, Bendejo. Sure. Don't you have something to do? Idiot. It's the weekend. Mm-hmm. 
with me everyone will be back on monday people just get really possessive about their space so uh bunkin what is this bunkin um sleeping with me i mean in the same tent we uh we share a tent i brought you something oh right you shouldn't have i think it should match the necklace hmm? they're beautiful I'm sorry I never called after Copenhagen. I was going to try to a bunch of times. We have no children in the Are you hungry? Do you uh, want to wash up? No. No, I'm more interested in what you find. I, I want to see him. Rebecca Orson. She's doing a doctorate on the find. Lobachevsky, Nikolai Antonovich. Lobachevsky, the paleopathologist? <laughs> You're like famous. <laughs> and you are like a very lovely doctoral candidate. What is he doing here? Oh, um, Dr. Lobachevsky is here to, um, he's a. D a database. I'm here for database. Yes, he is here to take DNA samples for his... Mitochondrial uh, DNA sample for testing. He's big son of a bitch, huh? Average height was four and a half feet. He measures out over six. Perhaps uh, deformity? Oh no, he is quite perfect. Perfect. Actually, um, we don't really know what it is yet. It's an Aztec sacrifice. What the heck would an Aztec sacrifice be doing out here in America? He's here for his protection. Becca seems to think someone brought him here to hide him. <laughs> he could have come here on his own accord. What, he just walked all the way here from his temple in Mexico? That's ridiculous. Ladies, Polynesians crossed ocean on little boats of straw. What is difficult in walking, huh? That won't work out here. There is no coverage. You have no contact? I, I must check the office that I have arrived. Well, you know, I do have a satellite phone back in my tent. Um, you can use that. Mm. She was a promising student. Now she has some crazy idea that that mummy, some Aztec god. Uh, perhaps she means uh, Aztec king? Um, no, she means god. She recently lost someone close to her. Try not to be too long. We don't have very much on our budget. I understand. Алло, проводите мне к мезандари. Да. Да, сокол это черепаха. Не, я приехал. Да, ну, надежда есть. Я перезвоню. Fast? Good?
Perhaps you should uh, watch, uh, so no one will disturb us. So, how's the world of private enterprise treating you, Nikolai? Work is the same. But uh, now I have mobile phone. And I do not pay the charges. I do not even see the bill. No bills. That must be nice. Look, I wanted to talk to you about what happened this morning. It's okay. You don't have to explain. A man gets lonely out here. What? I'm flattered. Well, no, senorita, what I'm trying to say is... Look, you're doing wonderful work out here. You're an asset to the project. You're not say nada. No, 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 it's not like that at all. Are you gonna fix the van? You, well, yeah, I'm fixing the van. I'm, I'm on my way right now. A good man is a patient man. In the end, it's... Look, woman, I'm... Yeah, you should go. We shouldn't be seen together. Hiking or are we taking pictures? We're doing both, baby cakes. Why do you need a picture of a rock? It's a plant next to a rock. See? It's Atriplex canicense. That's a weed, kind of. Oh. Have a little imagination. Come on, are we hiking or what? No, I was just reading about the Aztecs. What a fascinating culture they have. Uh -huh. You know a lot about them, right? Well, is it true they sacrificed 20,000 people in just one weekend? Jesus, you're making it sound like it's a football game. You have to understand their culture. This was part of their world. They lived amongst their gods. Blood is what made their world turn, just like oil is what makes our world turn. But they did, right? Aztecs believed that dusk was a crack between the worlds of day and night. Let's go. Yeah. 
you uh, brought your own vodka. I must be prepared to all situations. We celebrate? I uh, thought you gave up drinking. Uh, I give it up when it gives me up. Sorry, outside, I remember. Uh, Nikolai, what about my money? Money? Soon. You must be patient, Elena. Soon. I will go back in a few days. We will know about your giant man. Watch the path. Rise your sleeping spirit. Tikana y estika. Wewe tan de calipoca. Rise your sleeping spirit. 
is your sleeping spirit. Wewe tandi kalipoka. Wewe tandi kalipoka. Tikana yestika. Wewe tandi kalipoka. Tikana yestika. Rise your sleeping spirit. Tikana yestika. Tikana yestika. So, uh, this is your, uh, Aztec god. Hey, Kalipoka, Lord of the Smoking Mirror. Oh. Uh, may I? Please. Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice. Human sacrifice. He was the god of night and war, the lord of judgment. He ruled the Aztecs until the return of Quetzalcoatl, his rival. Mm. The Aztecs believed that the Spanish conquistadors represented Quetzalcoatl. There's no doubt that the Aztecs believed in Te Calipoca, but that he was real and buried here. Where do you get these uh, interesting uh, ideas? There's a codex that tells of Te Calipoca's return to reclaim his kingdom. His priests knew that he needed to be hidden until his time came again. <laughs> Make her breath. It's not working. Uh, 
Well, can't you send a helicopter? Um, something? Yes. I understand. Okay. The emergency helicopter stuck in Santa Fe. Too late for helicopter. gonna send a corner up here in the morning. He says we have to put her someplace safe. So that no animals will get there. Come on, Derek. Let's take care of her. Toss their cookies. Magic, my little friend. Hey, you forgot your laptop. Are you going to be okay? Do you think it's the curse of the mummy? There's no curse. Two people are dead. I don't know what else to call it. You seem to know a lot about that mummy. I wish I knew more. Carmen did. Now she's dead. Maybe it's a good thing you don't know so much. Can 
if you stay here tonight. Wake up. What? What? There's an animal in the mess. Somebody must have left the food out. We've got to do something. Okay. You want to go in first? I got a flashlight. You got the shovel. You want to switch? Fine. in the world is going on here? I'll tell you what's fucking going on. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I think she, I think she bit me. Please calm down. Let me, let me take a look first. Hey, did she, she grabbed you here? Yeah, it's a fucking bitch. Shut the fuck up, you dick face. I think Max is right. We should all get out of here right now. Hell yeah, I am fucking right. Where are the fucking keys to the van? Jose's got them. Uh, the van was making that noise again. 
right, Jose. Where is that fucker? I haven't seen him all day. Shit! What the fuck is doing that? It's the car alarm. I know what it is, but why is it turned on? Something must have knocked into it and set it off. Maybe the wind? No, the wind's not gonna set off the fucking alarm. Someone's trying to steal it. Where the fuck is Jose? He has the keys, he's not gonna break in. And besides, the rest of us are all accounted for. That's it. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I don't care what anyone says. It is not a good idea. Yeah, I, I can't leave the site, and neither should you. I mean, not in the middle of the night. You're gonna get lost in the desert. Let's go find Jose. You get your stuff together. If that goes for the rest of you, we're leaving tonight. You can stay if you want. She's gonna be getting up again anytime soon. There is a better solution. You have tape? Where are you going? I'm gonna see if it works. Fuck! Hey, come here with that flashlight. So what do you think? I don't know, it looks okay to me. Yeah. Look, I don't know shit about cars. Yeah, you know what, me neither. Get Connie down here. She knows about cars. You sit down. This is fucked, Albert. I mean, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We'll get Connie to take a look at the van. If she can fix it, then we split tonight. But if she can't, then we're stuck here, that's it. You know, let me ask you something. Is this freaking you out? Because this is really freaking me out. This is exactly like the curse of King Tut. It's exactly like it. There's got to be a, a rational explanation for what's going on. I mean, Carmen obviously wasn't dead before. It's got to be some kind of disease or something. We're screwed. The van won't start. We can't find Jose. He messed it up, and now he's out there in the dark somewhere. Max, calm down now. Jose is gone. Shouldn't we go look for him? I'm sure Jose can take care of himself. Okay, I'm ready. We out of here or what? Uh, Connie, we need you to take a look at the van. It won't start. Okay. Where do we have tools? Yeah, they're in the van. Hello? Common sense here. It's in the middle of the night. If it's dark, you're gonna get lost. You can't tell me you feel safe. Safer here than in the middle of nowhere with a flat tire. Corner's gonna be here in a few hours. I'm gonna try to get some sleep. Uh, 
I'm sorry, was I the only one that saw Carmen die, get back up again, raid the fridge, and then attack me? Fuck! So what do you think it is? Perhaps she had a uh, heart condition. Anemia. Often causes uh, consciousness loss. Well, she was pretty dead. I mean, we both checked. Clinical death, yes. Uh, with uh, bradycardia, this can happen. Then heart restarts. Then brain damage? Without oxygen for this long, it was very likely. That's so sad. Well, I must keep your perspective. We, we study history. He is history. It is uh, bigger than the mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll tell that to her family. Maybe I will have a little sip of your vodka. <clears throat> yeah, maybe the professor's right. Maybe we should get some sleep. <clears throat> yeah, it'll be easier to find out what's wrong with the band once there's light. Who knows, Jose might even show up and save us a little trouble. What about Carmen? And the vampire zombie shit, man? See you in the morning. <laughs> Albert! Out here. Can, I, can I just please use your phone? Someone broke into my cabinet. Look. Where, where's my phone? Someone stole it? Out here. I, I just use it, but I give it right back to the professor. It's, it's really strange. That's just great. That's just fucking great. That's great. That codex that you you were talking about. What what's in it? It describes an ancient prophecy. Take Alan Coco's return. But no one's ever seen more than a fragment of it. It might just be a legend. It's not a legend. The time of the fifth sun, the age of man, shall come to an end. And with the rise of the Dark Lord, the mocker will come. The sixth sun, the final age, the age of darkness. The world will be darkened so that it may be reborn into the age of water and start afresh. So what, what does that mean? What exactly did Carmen do? Blood. Doc, get the fuck off of me! Get up! Stop, you motherfucker! D did you hear something? I can't fucking believe it. I don't know the fucking. I'm going to take a leak and he fucking jumps me. Who? Max, who do you think? That fucking asshole. He tried to French me and he grabbed my boobs. We're gonna find that little shit. If I find him first, I'm gonna fucking kill him. Hey, what's, what's going on? Well, Max is out there somewhere. He wigged out. Okay, let's go find him. Max! Come out! Don't be a pussy, man. Just come back and say you're sorry.
Something I can't do. Holy fuck. I can't feel my face. Don't look. I'm so freaked out right now, Al. What is going on? You and I, we're gonna go to the band. Maybe you can fix it. Everybody else stays here, right here, no matter what happens, okay? Okay? prophecy of the return of Tikalipoka. His priests buried him in the north for his return. You don't honestly believe that, do you? Carmen and Derek performed the rite of resurrection. Well, perhaps it was a virus on Earth with the mummy. It isn't an Aztec god. When primitive mind, like Aztec, encounters something it does not understand, it, it calls this a uh, god. When science encounters something new, it calls this uh, virus. What is different? I go for smoke. The ECU's gone. The ECU? It's a little computer that controls everything in the car. Well, can you make it run without it? No. Why would he pull the ECU? Is this the thing? 
Yeah. Don't move. I can explain. Don't move! What are you doing to them? You must understand. Uh, it is not common virus or bacteria. The, the, the science must have samples. When we think the scalibocal, the scalibocal e. And come on. Yeah, we caught your colleague here cutting up parts of Carmen and Max. He's got fingers, ears, all in that case. Nikolai, why? Samples of phenomenon must be preserved. I follow scientific procedure. Yeah, but that's not agent DNA. I mean, these are my students. Do not question, Alina. There is little time. If we are to leave, she must fix Cap. She, she is already infected. What are you talking about? I don't know. I'm just tired. You sick fuck. Don't even change the subject. She must fix Cap now. Look at her tongue. What did you do to her? I, I, I'm not responsible. Is there any way to cure it? Perhaps. I, I, it must be analyzed, examined, but, but not now. She, she must, she must fix car. I don't want to turn into one of those things. Connie, the faster we get this done, the faster we can get out of here, and the faster we can get you help. Right now. Connie? Connie?
This is so shitty, Al. This is so fucked up. I'm too fucking young for this. It's not fair. Connie, honey, you fixed the van. We're gonna get you out of here. We're gonna get you cured. Let's see. It's too fucking late. I can feel him inside me. Like worms. He wants something. I know I'm gonna die. Honey, please don't talk like that. Look. Just eat the axe. Do it. County, please don't ask. I can't do this. Let's just get back to camp. We're gonna get you cured. No, we're not. I'm not gonna make it. Al. If you love me. If you ever love me. Please. it is virus bacteria god devil where's connie she didn't make it give me that case it is not possible i burden every piece of this thing up give me that fucking case Albert. You can't bring the entire camp down. One last chance. Give me the case. I, I cannot. Please don't. That mummy is a piece of history. Becca, show me your tongue. Give me a hand for this guy. Stop it! Stop it! You are crazy, man! I, I am science! Albert, what are you doing? Will you come here and help me? This is very bad, very crazy. Don't move. You cannot cut this. This is, this is titanium. You cannot cut with wood chopper. Well, then open up the case because it all has to burn. Nuts. Will you come here and help me? Becca, you, you, you're a fan of my work. You say so. Uh, I'm sorry. Hold it steady. You are crazy people. You don't understand science. Albert, are you sure this is a good idea? Hold it steady. Out of here as fast as you can. Becca. 
Rebecca, what's wrong? I have to save the Codex. It's too important. Jose? Jesus, I didn't recognize you. What are you doing in that getup? My back is really badly hurt. Can, can you please help me get to the van? Jose, what the fuck happened to you? You fucking prick. Алло. Алло. А, ну, проводи меня к Мизандари. Да. Алло. Мизан... Ну да, это, это черепаха, да. Ну, блядь. Ну, сколько еще будет? Ой, ёп. Ну, можно поторопиться, а? П почему, блядь? Ну, сигареты кончаются. Ёп твою мать. Ну... Ugh. <sighs> 